Here's the question. Do I stand here to cover the peloton or here to cover the desk or do I just embrace it? Welcome back to the Delicate Strike Diaries. I'm Denise and today I'm walking you through how I make my Spotify code products that are on my Etsy shop. Let's get started. So out of my open orders, two of them are actually for Spotify shirts this week. So perfect timing, you'll get to see the whole process. Um, so the first step is when a customer places an order, they'll be prompted to tell me what song that they want on their product. But it's not limited to just songs. Like if you really wanted to, if you have a favorite artist or album, or if you've even made your own playlist, as long as it's public, you can just send me that link and I can generate a Spotify code for all three of those things. And it'll take you to the artist page or to that specific album or it'll pull up your playlist. So it's really cool because you can personalize it in multiple ways. Um, I had an order where someone was a runner and so they put their running playlist on a hat. So every time they went out for a run, all they had to do was scan their hat and it would pull up their playlist. Brilliant. Um, but if you order just a song, what I do it, to commemorate it is I'll put it in my own Spotify playlist that I have put here. Um, just because I'm nosy and I love seeing like what songs people put on shirts and what is like meaningful enough to them to like put in a gift for someone. So um, you, you want to stock. There are like really cute love songs in there, just like great songs in general that people like enough to put on shirts. So it's a really fun way to kind of document that. But I also use that to generate the Spotify code. So. I will show you kind of a screen recording of the whole process here. But what I do is I will copy the Spotify code and then I'll go to this website to generate the actual Spotify code lines. And so once that happens, you can download it as a JPEG. And then after that, what I do is I go in and I actually remove the background and make it a transparent PNG. And that makes it so much easier because then from there, I can upload it into Cricut or wherever you use a cutting machine, if you use a Silhouette or whatever other brands. And from there, I'll resize it depending on the product. So it's a little bit smaller on hats than it is on t-shirts. So in this case, these are t-shirts. So then I'll have the machine cut out those images. And so then from there, I'll just weed out the vinyl. And then because the Spotify codes look pretty similar after they're cut, I am constantly double checking to make sure that I have the right code with the right product and with the right order because it has happened once where I almost sent like this girl who ordered an anniversary gift. So it was like a super sappy love song. I almost sent her like a rap song that someone else ordered. So always double check if you're making multiple like I do. Better to be safe than sorry and I'll iron it onto the shirt, make sure it's centered, or if it's requested for it to be off to the side, I'll do that as well. And that's actually all it takes. It's a super simple process, but such a great way to add a personal touch to your own clothing and gifts to other people. My favorite order to date is this girl got a sweatshirt for her boyfriend for their anniversary, and the gift message was super mushy, like, I love you so much, I'm so happy we're together, blah, blah, blah but the song was never gonna give you up. So my life goal when I posted this product was for someone to get Rick rolled with this and someone did, so I can die happy. Um, but that is all it takes to make this shirt. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what song or artist or album you love enough that you would put on a Spotify code in a shirt. I'd love to hear it and add it to my playlist maybe, but I will see you next week. Bye.